Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you more of those really great new finds that I have been finding at my local Dollar Trees week after week. I feel like I am on a roll and I don't want to jinx it, but boy oh boy is the Dollar Tree coming out with some really great new products and items that they're stocking their shelves with. And so I really like to bring these to you. For those of you who haven't yet got them at your Dollar Tree, if you see something in these new find videos that I bring to you that you like, then you know to keep your eye open for them. I'm also gonna be bringing to you a super quick and easy Dollar Tree DIY that you are not gonna wanna miss. It's gonna take you maybe an hour to do, and it is stinking adorable. Yes, I am filming in my craft room up against my new wall that I absolutely love. I was so excited to start filming in front of it that I couldn't wait for my chair. That's not going to be here until the middle of March. Thank you, COVID. But it is what it is. I'm going to be patient. And for now, I'll just stand in front of it because I really like it so much. I know some of you are going to ask me what chair I got. Guess what? I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to wait until I upload the video to see what chair out of the five I picked. And it was really one of the most popular chairs and I'm really excited for it to get here. So I wish it would just hurry up and be the middle of March. Okay, no I don't. But I like February. I like March. I don't want to rush it, but I really want my chair. So anyway, I'm going to quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let me show you some of the great new finds that I found at the Dollar Tree and some of the items that you can expect to be seeing in some of my upcoming DIYs here real soon. Oh my word, I cannot wait to share with you this great news. Dollar Tree has expanded Crafter Square. Ready, set, craft. What does this mean? It means that Dollar Tree has now expanded the Crafter Square line in all stores. How amazing is that? I cannot wait to see the rollout of this and to hear some of you subscribers who haven't had access to some of the items that I've had that you now have access to them. So this is definitely good news and it's something to keep your eye open for. Thank you Dollar Tree for listening. Alrighty, we are going to start this Dollar Tree haul off with my favorite finds and this is going to be in no particular order, so hold on tight. Yes, would you look at this? This is a hard candy eyeshadow palette and I am floored because you are getting 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 eyeshadow colors. This is a nice set. You've got a couple of brushes and a couple of applicators here. Hard Candy, I would say, is maybe the equivalent to Wet n Wild. Maybe a couple steps up. Walmart carries it. They've got a lot of really fun items. I'm really surprised to see that they have this eyeshadow palette by Hard Candy at Dollar Tree now. This is definitely something you're going to want to keep your eye open for. I picked up two because I can't get one for me and not get one for Kayla. Uh, how cool is this? Reusable stainless steel drinking straws. You're getting four of them. You're getting two that are bent, two that are straight, and it comes equipped with a brush to clean the inside of your eco-friendly straw. How cool is that? I love these. Allie really likes these a lot too. And so I thought it was really cool that you could get a set of these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So this is a really great find, something to keep your eye open for. Oh my word, we've got decorative lids that come in a two pack for a mason jar. How awesome is that? This is used to put on the top of your mason jar so you can put flowers in it. Or you can just light a candle and have a nice decorative, I guess, flicker or glare that kind of appears on your ceiling, which is really cool. I love that Dollar Tree's got these as well. These you can find in the floral section. Now, this is a jar that I have never seen at the Dollar Tree. I am loving the shape. What does this remind you of? What kind of jar does that remind you of? It reminds me of a candle 
When I saw these, I got so excited because I thought that these would be perfect for DIYing some candles. I can't wait to bring you my next DIY candle. You are going to love it. It is so fun. So if you see these jars and you wanna make some candles with me, you might wanna pick a couple up the next time you're there. Now, Dollar Tree typically has these twine carrots in a four or five pack at Easter time. I always pick up a few because I love them. They're rustic, they're made out of twine, so why wouldn't I love them? This year, they've come out with a six foot garland with these carrots. Absolutely love this, obsessed with it. I picked up four of them because six feet just doesn't seem to be enough. And so I wanted to make mine a bit bigger to go along my plantation shutters. And so I am loving this. How fun is that? I can't wait for more of the Easter stuff to come out at my store. They still haven't put it all out yet, but they did put out these adorable yarn craft kits. These are pom-pom bunnies. Everything you need to make a white one and a pink one. How fun are those? Oh my goodness, I love that. I am most definitely gonna be bringing to you a DIY doing these. Now, I have seen these four and a half by four and a half inch wood planks hauled in other hauls. I could not wait for them to come to my store. I just keep looking every time I go there for them and they got them in. I am so excited. Six come in a pack. How fun is that? I am loving that. So I picked up, I think, four packs of these and they finally restocked these. So I picked up four packs of these as well. I am loving these new wood plaque hangers. They've got a couple of different sizes with the twine on them. Dollar Tree's had something kind of similar to it, but I've never seen this style before. And so when I saw it, I picked up two because I thought it would be fun to DIY them. And I also saw that they had this style as well. These may not be new to some, but they're new to mine. And so I definitely was excited to see more wood DIY stuff in the Crafter Square or on the Crafter Square aisle, I guess I should say. These are not new, but I haven't DIY'd with them yet. So I picked up a couple of these because I've got a DIY idea in store for you using these. Three of them actually. Yeah, this here is a metal flag. It says pole. I'm gonna call it a stick. But this is pretty cool because you can put a banner or a flag on it. And um, I've got a seasonal DIY that I'm going to be bringing to you using these. So if you find one of these, you might want to pick a couple up because I've got DIYs in store for you for holidays, for seasons. I think it'll be fun to do a DIY banner every now and again and just give you some ideas of how you can DIY your own. So make sure you pick up one of these if you want to DIY them with me. This was something new. I have never seen these glitter drapes for Easter. They had them in a bunch of pastel colors. How fun is that? And so I picked one up in yellow. What size is this? Does it say? Oh, it's 32 inches by 40 inches. So you're getting a nice size. I have an idea what I'm gonna do with this. I thought it would be cute to incorporate into one of my DIYs because it was yellow and I think it'll work. I hope it'll work, but we'll see. If I'm being honest, I'm not much into these or this decor style with, uh, what is this stuff? Like the tinsel maybe? That's what it kind of reminds me of, the tinsel garland that you would put on your Christmas tree. And I've never been a big fan of this, but I love the shape of these. And so I had an idea using a bunny head and maybe the bunny body. And so I picked it up just for the plastic piece itself. And so I think I've got a couple of DIYs for you coming to you for Easter using these. I'm pretty sure I do. I hope it'll work. Now these are not new, but I love that Dollar Tree has felt rolls and they've got them in the simple colors that the basic colors, I guess I should say, that you would need. And they are a decent size. They're 11 and three quarter inches by 48 inches. So that is a good size. Is it super thick? It isn't. But I think if you double it up, it'll be okay. And so I've got a DIY in store for you using, I think, white 
And so I picked up a couple rolls and since there was red and black there as well, I picked up a roll of them too. And I found some more new fabric. I was obsessed with this camper fabric. How cute is that? That is so stinking cute. It's just like a little Airstream camper. And so I picked up two of those because I've said it once, I'll say it again. I am obsessed with fabric. I can never have enough fabric in my stash. And so do I have plans for it? I don't, but I'm sure I'll use it at some point. You know what's fun is do you ever buy something and you don't know what you're gonna do with it and then you hold on to it for maybe a year or two and then the time comes where you're like, I know what I can use that for. And then you think back to the time when you bought it and you just had no clue that two years later it was gonna be the perfect something for that DIY or whatever it is you did with it. I love it when that happens and I always think back to when I bought stuff, how I really didn't know what I had in store for it, but I think it's pretty cool that a couple years later, even though it was in my stash, I did something pretty cool with it. I also picked up some styrofoam balls. Um, these are 2.8 inches and that comes in a two pack and I picked up these, what are these? Floral foam round discs, why not? Whoa. I do have a DIY in mind for these. It's one that I need to work out. And since there is two of each, I think I will give it a trial run before I actually bring it to you. I'm really hoping it'll work. I think it will, but we'll see. And lastly, I picked up another felt bunny garland because I absolutely love these felt bunnies. I made a DIY garland out of these last year that was so stinking cute that everybody absolutely loved. And I did it using these thinking that these would be a great alternative to the wood plaques for those who couldn't get their hands on the wood plaque. And I had made a really cute garland with the wood plaques. And so if you see these, I picked this up because this makes for a really cute garland as well. I will link that video, I promise you, in the description box below and on the end screen of this video so you can see what I did with these and how easy it was. And my goodness, you're getting, I believe it's, it's eight bunnies for a dollar and you can't beat that. And you're gonna turn this from being bright into something that's gonna suit your decor so easily. So make sure to go watch that video after this. Alrighty, let me show you this super quick and easy, budget-friendly, stackable storage DIY that you're gonna love using not one, not two, but three of these jars, these cool looking jars that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I feel like these jars here work the best because there's two different ways that you can set these jars. You can set them down or you can set them on their side, which is cool, it gives you options. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lids, then taking some of Apple Barrel's Key West, now this DIY is for my niece. Her room is the same color as Allison's. I'm gonna make Allison a set of these, but for now, I just wanted to get this set done for my niece because she needs some storage for her squunchies and her hair ties. So I'm gonna give the lids a good few coats of this Key West by Apple Barrel. This is a thinner paint, so it does take a few coats to get the coverage that you like especially on something metal like this. And so, yeah, I'm gonna do that to all three of the lids. I will also be using some of these napkin rings. They come in a six pack. You can find this in the party section of Dollar Tree. We're gonna need two of them. I'll also be using these wood caps by Plaid, I think it is. You can find a pack of these at Walmart for just a couple of dollars. They come in an eight pack. We're gonna need three of them today. So I'm gonna take my two napkin rings, my three wooden caps, and using some of Apple Barrel's pavement. Yep, this bottle's seen its day. I'm gonna give all three caps a good coat of this, and it's really only gonna take one because this paint is so dark. It is such a nice dark gray, I love it. So it'll be easy coverage, and you can see that I am painting these the lazy way. I'm using my finger because there is a hole at the bottom. And so if you don't wanna ruin your manicure. My manicure has already seen its days, so I don't mind doing it this way. You can use a pencil, you can use paper, just roll it up. 
really just get creative if you don't want to use your finger. Again, I'm just being lazy and so this is going to work today. And did I say I'm going to paint all three of these? Well, I am. And we can't leave the napkin rings out, so I'm going to give these a good coat of this paint too. And these actually needed a couple coats because the silver kind of showed through and we can't have that, can we? We want a good solid gray. So we're going to give it two coats. Now I'm not going to lie to you, there's going to be some gluing involved in this DIY and the glue that I'm using for some reason is this Quick Grip by Beacon. Not sure why I'm not using E6000, but we're going with this one. You know what? I know why I'm using this because it says quick grip so quick grip is gonna grip quicker haha <laughs> and so I am going to take that glue and I am going to glue these here wood caps to those caps haha <laughs> like how I did that and I'm gonna do that with all three of the wood caps on the metal caps and I'm gonna take that same quick grip glue that grips quickly and I'm gonna put some right along this edge of our napkin ring now, like I said in the beginning, these jars are cool because you can stand them up two different ways. You can stand them up the way you see here on the side. So the lid is kind of at an angle or you can set it right up so the lid is at the top. I'm not gonna do it that way. I like the feature of being able to set it off to the side. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take my napkin ring where I placed some of my quick grip glue and I'm gonna place it right there on the bottom, just like so. Look how cool that is. I'm gonna take this handy glue again. We're gonna place some more of this glue on the bottom edge of this napkin ring, and we're gonna place this jar on top of another jar. Now, the top of these jars don't have a flat edge. They are rounded, but because we're using these napkin rings, it sets on the top of the second jar nicely. You just really kind of want to hold it in place for a couple seconds and let it get good and tacky so it stays into place. And you are going to want to set this piece aside for a couple of hours and really let it dry. I'm going to take my last jar that has a napkin ring on the bottom. I'm going to place a bit of glue on that bottom ring. And this jar here is going on top of this jar here. My jars are good and dry. They are all stuck together. Now you can see here when I stacked them, I offset them because I just, who wants jars that are straight? I wanted them offset. I thought it would look kind of cool, be kind of a cool feature. And so now all we have to do is add our lids and we are done. Bad news is, is I don't have a picture for you guys because I sent these off without taking a picture. Shame on me, sorry, but you can see that this is a pretty cool storage container. It's really cool for rubber bands, squinchies, you name it, even makeup or lip glosses, chapsticks, endless possibilities. And again, I am really sorry for not having a picture for ya. Yeah, it's Tuesday. We are all over the place. Kayla's uploading today. She says she's doing an art challenge. There's nothing challenging for her when it comes to art. Let's see what she does. Head on over to her channel and let's see what good laughs she has in store for us today. You can find the link to her video, guess what, in the description box below. Haha. <laughs> this hard candy eyeshadow palette, can I just tell you I love this. Not only are you getting, what was it, the 369, 12, 15 eyeshadow colors, but oh my word, it's the eyeshadow that I have on today. I used the second one, which was the gold one. I did use the white metallic and then um, the second one in the second row and the third one. Oh my goodness, I love this. Is it super pigmented? It isn't, it took a couple of layers, but there was not a lot of flake off. There wasn't a lot of flake off in the pan and I am loving this eyeshadow. I cannot believe that I got this for a dollar and it is amazing. So I am telling you, if you find this and see this at your Dollar Tree and you like eyeshadow and these are your colors, you should most definitely grab one because it is an amazing eyeshadow for a dollar. For the most part, I am really excited for some of the finds that I found and I'm excited to be bringing to you some of the Easter and St. Patrick's Day. I really said that backwards. Let's rewind. I'm really excited to be bringing to you some St. Patrick's Day, then Easter DIYs that I think you're really going to enjoy that are budget friendly and I'm going to try and keep them quick and easy. We'll see what I come up with. 
Until then, I hope you all enjoyed today's new finds at the Dollar Tree, things that I think you should try to keep your eye open for at your local Dollar Tree. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes, because like I always say, I know, I sound like a broken record, don't I? I'm not gonna come up with a new intro and outro because it's just too hard, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, and bye for now, everybody.